have a little guest today. Come here. Come here, bear. <laughs> My sister's dog. They are dog sitting for her this weekend while she goes to Scotland because um, she's singing. Say hello. Say hello. She's a little bit scared of uh, Jonathan. Um, so she keeps barking. But anyway, um, I thought I'd start this vlog here. Happy Thursday. It is the afternoon. Let's just see what time it is. Four o'clock. Um, it's been a bit of a crazy day today with things going on. But what I've been doing is finding new wholesalers, which has taken me hours. And another thing that I've done is I'm tr I've had another go at Etsy ads. I've tried Etsy ads a couple of times before and not really had much success. Sorry about that, Jonathan just came in the room. So yeah, I'm going to be doing Etsy ads from, um, and I'm going to show you guys from the start. I have decided to start off with 20, is it dollars they do it in? Yeah, dollars per day. I did it about a couple of hours ago and I've had nine clicks so far and I've spent $3.31 and I've done it with my, one of my best selling sun catchers because sun, I really want sun catchers to start doing better I've, that's what I've just bought loads of wholesale hoops and crystals and all the like um, beads that I do beads that I put on them so yeah that's what I really want to start doing um so I'm going to show you guys like along the way to see basically what happens you do I, what I've noticed is you do um, you do have to spend quite a lot, I think, to get sales on Etsy ads, so I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm just trying it. This is uh, what I've done so far anyway, I'll show you. So This is the one that I'm doing it on, the Saturn Crystal Suncatcher, and I've spent that much so far, and got zero sales, obviously, because that's what it's like when you first start doing it. But when I did it last time, I, I had like several different listings that I was putting it on and this time I'm just doing it on my best sellers and I'm probably going to do it on the driftwood piece once I get more driftwood in at the moment I'm still waiting for driftwood um or I might just actually go to the beach and collect my own because it's literally free um so yeah I'm going to do that so I'll let you guys know how I get on also just wanted to show you what I have done in the macrame for the market so far so I've made these driftwood pieces. There and there. Can you see them? Obviously I'm putting in the, I don't know if I told you, but I'm putting tumble stones in each one. But you, they can actually, at the market, I'm gonna let the person who buys the wool hanging swap it out for any tumble stone they want. But I've put one in that like kind of goes with it for now. I've done these like smaller moons in the 11 inch hoop and then I've used my 13 inch hoop. I just have so many of these hoops so I'm trying to use stock that I know I've got a lot of. So yeah, because it just makes sense to use a lot of the stock, that you've, especially at the markets. Oh, <laughs> I'm falling over. So that's what it's looking like so far. I'm going to do a couple more of these and a couple more of these. And, I, and then I think I'm going to leave it at that because surely I'm not going to sell all them at the market. It's not that busy. And then when my hoops and my crystals, my crystal chips that I've just ordered come, I'm going to finish way more of them. Um, yeah, so I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Should we go this way? Up here? This way. This way, bear. <laughs> Come on, bear. Come on, bear. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Ooh. It is, well, it's a bit of a different day today because I'll be doing some work. Is it? We've just come for a walk this morning. And we're taking Bear out for a little walk, my sister's dog. And then we're gonna go home, quickly get ready. Come on, keep going. Yeah, so we're going to the Maker's Market today. It's my brother's 40th birthday tomorrow. So we're going to the Maker's Market today for like a pre-birthday 
thing. We're going to go down to the bottom and then we're going to turn. Um, but I'm obviously not selling at the Maker's Market today, we're going to Keyside. Um, and we're just going to have a quick look. I've never actually gone to a Maker's Market and not sold there before, so I'm looking forward to just enjoying actually looking at the sellers. And then I need to update you guys on how my Etsy ads are doing because I'm on day three of doing $20 a day advertising. I think the doggy's tired, isn't it? Come on, doggy. I can't move. Oh, the dog's tired. Yeah, so I'll show you that before um, before or after the Maker's Market. I'll show you how we're doing on Etsy ads. Uh, and what else are we going to do today? Oh yeah, I'm thinking of making like a chandelier. Um, not put that in the next vlog. Maybe start it in this vlog and put it in the next one. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. I've just got back from Bottom. Where we're going, yeah, I'll show you. Go for a wee and I'll show you. He just wants to know where we're going today. Um, so, I've just got back from our walk and I'm going to show you guys um, how we're doing on the Etsy ads so far. What I've done is, I, I first put on just one listing because someone told me like just focus on like one listing, one of your best sellers. So I did that um, and we got one sale, but it wasn't that item, it was the DIY kit of that item, um, but they still found me through that. And then, um, then it just dried up for like a whole day, I didn't have any sales. And so I put another five on, but they're all new listings, them ones. Um, no, $39 I've spent, it says. That can't be right because I spent more than that. But it says $39 and my revenue is only 45 So basically I'll be at a loss after costs and shipping and everything. I will have made a loss in the first three days of me doing Etsy ads. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to keep going. I'm running it for a week. I'm doing $20 a day. I'm going to keep this experiment going and show you guys at the end what, um, what it is. But yeah, I'm not impressed so far. Uh, and also... When I've looked at the results of it, I've actually got more more visits to my shop through Pinterest than I have through Etsy ads, and I've done nothing. I don't really do much with Pinterest. Um, I have done a lot of it Pinterest over the years, but I just like do like one or two things like a week, and then I just leave it. But yeah, I've had more through Pinterest than I have through Etsy ads, and I'm paying twenty dollars a day. So, so far, I'm not impressed, uh, but I'll update you guys after the market.
a few days now since I last filmed. Uh, the last thing you would have seen would have been the Maker's Market, which was so nice. Um, really, really enjoyed the Maker's Market. Um, Loki absolutely loved it. He kept walking up to the stalls and like looking at the different artists. Uh, he particularly liked the artists that did like pictures, if, if they were like digital pictures or like paintings. He loved all that kind of stuff. And we bought some stuff. Oh, I'm going to show you. These. Loki loved them. I just think they're like quirky little style that she had was just so cute. And Loki got so. My mum's dog's here today. Um, I've had my mum stop him with me. This uh, week, it's okay, calm down. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna pick the dog up. Come on. So yeah, I've had, that was the um, artist that he picked. So we've got the two of these, some, one somewhere else, but I can't find it. So yeah, Loki picked them. Um, she was a really amazing artist and what made it more special was she was actually the lady who did it was actually paralyzed and she had like like um some leaflets showing you like telling you about um what had happened to her and things and i just thought it was just because i before i even knew that just the style and the pictures i just thought they were so cute and unique yeah so that's what we got from the makers market and then we went to the war memorial you might have seen in the end of the clips that i've just put on that we were in a museum uh, so we went in the and then, yeah, it's been a while since uh, my mummy's stopping with us now. Like I said, there's family drama going on. So, yeah, my mummy's stopping with us. And this is her dog that is very, very anxious. Um, so whenever mum, my mum's not here, <laughs> she's, like, crazy. Anyway, so Etsy ads. We'll get back to the Etsy ads. We have had... Now, it's been about around a week... Um, and we have had five sales and I'm going to tell you like my revenue, how much I've spent, do I think, and my costs of my items that I've actually sold and give you like the profit that I've actually made from these ads. So I've spent about, I put about $20 a day and we actually spent around $17 a day. So Etsy doesn't always spend the full amount that you actually want it to spend. So they spent about $17 a day. Um, and yeah, we have five orders and spent £97, um, and not dollars, I'm just, I've, I've converted this to pounds because we're in the UK, that was $122, and sales that we made were £307, which is $385, so that's like, I basically tripled what I spent, um, so obviously that sounds quite good because you'd think, oh, you've made like nearly two hundred pounds, that uh, over two hundred pounds there. But you've got to take into consideration Etsy fees will still come out, the shipping and the material costs, and then also if you, oh, sorry, my hands are dirty. I'll show you why in a minute. Um, not dirty, dye. It's black dye. Um, and then you've also got to take into consideration if you've got staff, like how much you're paying them per hour to do the actual items. Um, so. Without putting the hours, it, so without putting hours in of how many hours it takes to cost, this is just all I've put in here is Etsy fees, cost of materials and shipping. I made, so £85 profit. £85 profit and if you take into consideration the amount of hours that work is going to cost, or take, sorry, it's going to take around six hours to do the, out, the, the five orders that I got. So that would be around fourteen pounds, sixteen pence per hour, uh, which, to be honest, if I'm quiet, I don't really mind. Um, I don't really mind that. That's actually all right. Um, if I was busy, I would probably take them off because, to be honest, I I became VAT registered last year, and it was just so hard. So if you're paying for things like ads, Etsy ads, you eventually are probably going to be. Yeah, become VAT registered because of the amount of money you're probably going to be making from the amount of revenue you're going to be making from um, 
them, um, which I won't go into in this video, but basically I don't, I don't want to become VAT registered again um, unless I'm planning on really pushing my business, which at the moment I'm probably not. Yeah, so £85 I made in a week profit. Um, revenue was £307. So that's quite good, actually. I think I might actually leave them on and I'll keep you guys updated how much I made on that. Um, what else? Oh, I've been making... Let me just tell you. I'm going to put you down now. This is Bailey, everybody. Are you okay? Your little heart's bumping. I'm going to put her down. So... I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've been making. The next vlog that I'm going to do is all going to be about um, the new these new kind of makes that I'm going to be making. So I'm trying to get into making chandeliers and things. I'm not sure about this piece. I'm going to put it up on today's post. I'm a little bit nervous about it. I love these bits that I've done on the ends. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. But this bit, I don't know if it's the colour or the way I've done... Because it's like a tree branch, basically. Or the way I've done the shape of it. I just think... I'm not sure. I'm just not sure on that. Anyway, this morning I got very early and I did some resin on this little table here for a make that somebody's bought on Etsy and then bought from one of my Etsy ads. And then I did a dip dye. Please excuse the state of the garden because we are actually doing some decking at the minute. So yeah, this is what I did this morning. And that's why my hands are like this, which is a little bit annoying because this weekend I've got quite a few things on. Um, I'm going to Manchester tomorrow for to celebrate my brother's 40th. And we're doing like a, a game crawl, calling it a game crawl. First we're doing Crystal Maze, then we're going to like a, it's like a bar with loads of like arcade games. And then we're going to be going somewhere where you can play like snooker golf and things like that so it's going to be really exciting so we're doing that tomorrow then friday we've got kind of like a chill day at home i'll work and then on saturday me and jonathan at night we're going to this zombie apocalypse things that he got me for mother's day this is just the kind of things that we do so yeah we're going to um a zombie apocalypse basically and i cannot wait for that i love things like that so i'll let you guys know how that was i might even record it on my phone and put a little bit on here um and then on Sunday, we've got my brother's 40th meal. And then I'm probably going to go out after that with my friend. Um, meeting her in Darwin in the town that I live in. I'm going to meet her out on Sunday night. So yeah, really excited about that. I'm probably going to leave this vlog here. Um, and the next one, like I said, will be me making lots of things like chandeliers and new makes. Um, I think that's what the next one's going to be. Uh, and... I need to come up with a new tutorial actually for Tuesday because I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do this time. Anyway, I'll leave some clips here of what we did over the weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye!